What's your favourite bone collector size? I usually start with... <laughs> now me, forget about it. Let's do this. How important is pose or gesture when capturing characters? Yeah, um, I think I would say it's, it's, it's quite important because you set a, you set a tone with it. Yeah. I mean, I always, I always call um, Franz Hals like secretly without telling it to art historians. Mm. I, I call him like uh, master of elbows. Right. <laughs> because um, you, yeah, you have always <laughs> these elbows and they are so, yeah, so, they are so, so speaking like you can be, you can be shy, mm. you can be totally offensive, yep. you can be like, powerful. I, I saw a, a portrait here for the first time. I didn't know it before. It's part of a, a couple painting, mm. and um, she has this incredibly powerful hand in her hips. Yep. And this is so unusual because it's such a it's a, such a pose of power. And unfortunately, women were not generally depicted like that. Mm. They were more depicted like beautiful or like sitting somewhere and, and, and wearing yeah. some jewelry or something like mm. that. And uh, this, uh, this couple portrait where he is mirroring her, her position, but in a completely weak way. Yeah, so it's you, you really, really feel that she has, she's wearing the trousers. Right, okay. And, and I really loved that because uh, I felt this is, uh, really like Joan Collins of Harlem, <laughs> right? And, and she is, she's in charge there. <laughs> yeah. well, as a musician, seeing the, the portrait of the, the young musician, he's wearing an extremely elaborate feather and he's holding his hand up like this. Mm. And he looks like a complete diva. He's, <laughs> he's sort of saying, don't interrupt me, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> what things do you think about when trying to capture a character? Ooh. In my portraiture work, where I'm recreating works of art featuring usually black subjects, I'm often dealing with characters that don't have a lot of background to, to their, their story. And, and so I, I'm imagining, I'm looking at the history and the context when the painting was created and trying to imagine a world and an internal journey for the, the character as well. And it's about creating alternative futures for these characters and trying to imagine the lives that they would have lived had they not been in servitude or enslaved and the lives that they would have created for themselves. So, is fashion or costume important to understanding a character? Yeah, I think it's quite essential because Clothing and fashion and yeah, all the things that we are wearing is it's it's part of um, expression. I mean, there's there's um, a portrait in this Franz Hals exhibition. It's it's uh, Jasper Schade, and 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 he. I mean, you can literally see it. He is uh, from a wealthy family, and he has this kind of arrogant gaze of somebody who is used to have money. What I do in my works in this uh, series called Hidden Portraits is that I'm covering parts of his face or completely his face by other parts of the painting. Because our approach is mostly uh, um, through face. Yeah. And sometimes I feel that, that um, going only about the, through the facial, facial expression you're missing so much. Yeah. And so I try to block this excess. The people are sometimes kind of confused yeah. because you know they don't get this kind of contact through eyes. Mm. But then they suddenly start to searching around on, the, on, on these works and they find a lot of things that are very interesting that they would have overseen when they're just yeah. going through the face. And it's, it's known that he was really a kind of fashion victim. He spent enormous amounts on his clothes. And of course he wanted um, uh, Franz Hals to show this. And he did it like in an, in an amazing way because his sleeve with this complicated pattern 
is really like flashy in the foreground so everybody can see, okay, this guy knows what fashion is. Mm. In opera, I, I'd say that again, costume is vital and yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I got into opera was the dressing up, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. Uh, and so, yeah, having this huge dressing up box, a costume department and co costume designers, and uh, there's something about stepping out on stage in a dress rehearsal when all of the elements come together and you're in your costume, you're in your shoes, and shoes change the way you walk, and you find that things that you start off trying to create and and find happen naturally because you're wearing a costume that is imposing certain things on your physicality. What's easier to capture, happy or sad? Ooh, this is a really tricky one. I'd say that it it changes depending on the on the work and and who I'm depicting and who I'm recreating. I find it much more difficult to uh, depict humor. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you don't see so many smiles in historical portraits. Mm. And, and Franz Hals is somebody who can um, show somebody smiling, uh, very natural, mm. like we're all smiling. Like him. Yeah, like the, yeah. And, and it's such a delicate, it's not yeah. really a smile. He's smiling more with his yeah, eyes than, than with his, yeah, mm. with his uh, uh, mouth. Satisfaction. You know, he was basically interested in uh, painting a human being, mm. not this what they wanted to show off. Which Hal subject would you most like to go for a drink with? I would go with John Collins. This, oh, this yeah. very self-confident mm. lady. <laughs> She's really wonderful. Yeah. And as gay guys can really <laughs> handle divas, I think it's. I think it will, I would love to go out for, with her yeah. for a drink. Yeah, I think it should be good fun. Or the Laughing Cavalier. I oh, think, okay. Probably. Really? You want to go for him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, he's just so finely dressed and probably knows the yeah. best drinking spots in in town. I always think of them as being quite noisy portraits. You hear chatter, you hear the, the clinking of glasses in one, and these are worlds that are being created and still vibrating to this day, and that's really exciting when you walk through the exhibition and feel that, and feel that noise from one space to the next. And I, I really feel like there's, there's so much potential to create a musical soundtrack to this exhibition <laughs> as well. <laughs> Franz Hals, the yes. musical. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Go for it. Go for it.